Today, I'll talk about how to use Power Apps drop down control and the differences from a combo box. <laughs> Hi, this is Mike Niami, Lean Sigma Bugbat. On the Power Apps Operation screen, select Insert and Control. Then you will see drop down and combo box. However, these two look the same as each other. As you can see, when the user's choices are predetermined, using these controls will improve the user's usability. Let's see the drop down control first. You need to register the user's options in the item's property. There are a couple of ways to do it. If those options will not change in the future, put them in double quotes in square brackets. If the options may change, you should refer to the data source for that and bring them. In this example, I'm bringing data from an external database TBL application and in the final status column. But here is a problem. There are duplicate values in the referred data source. In this situation, you can use the distinct function, put it outside of your existing formula. Then you can remove duplicate data but it shows an error. If you look at the explanation of the formula's argument, it's a comma rather than a dot after the data source. When I change the dot with a comma, the error disappeared and the duplication disappeared too. Also, if there are a lot of options, it's better to sort them. Put the sort function outside of your formula and put a dot result as the second argument. Next, I'll show you how you can get the selected item in the drop-down. I'll use a label control for this example. Put the drop-down name, a dot selected, and dot value. Then it's done. However, your users cannot make multiple selections with drop-down. You should use a combo box for that, as well as when you allow users to enter any values. The use of the item's property is the same as in the drop-down. But the drop-down has much more functionalities, so I'll make another video about that control. I put a link to Microsoft's official page about the drop-down control in this video description, so please refer to it. Thank you very much for viewing. Please click the subscribe button. Also, click and watch my other related videos. Thanks.